Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. Welcome to All India Radio Houston. Uh, you're listening to us on 1050 KCH in Houston, Texas. And we have two interesting programs this morning. Uh, during the first half of the hour, we're going to be talking to uh, Rob Hefner, uh, the CEO of uh, St. Luke's uh, Hospital here in uh, Sugarland, Texas. Uh, we, get, we get his perspective on the services provided at the St. Luke's and also the future of medicine. And during the second half of the hour, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, Shankara classes, uh, and my friends will be talking, uh, explaining all these things. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, you're listening to All India Radio in Houston, and we want to thank some of our sponsors, the Atrium Medical Center located in Stafford, Texas, which provides a senior care and wound, treat wound treatment, and you can reach them at 281-207-8200. We also want to thank South Texas Vascular Services, Dr. Imran Moedin, and he deals with arteries and veins in the body, and his number is 713-955-1707. And Foundation for India Studies, uh, which is bringing the India B 2015, which we're going to talk to you in a few minutes. Uh, and I will be talking to the Jain group uh, tomorrow at the 10.30 a.m. at the Jain Center. Uh, on women and heart disease, uh, you can reach uh, Ashok uh, Singhavi. Uh, and uh, this also been brought by Ravi Somi Zula. And don't forget the cricket match between India and South Africa, which is going to be starting at 9.30 p.m. Uh, on ESPN and other uh, channels. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, we are listening to All India Radio Houston. I am Dr. Nick Nickham, and we are going to talk about uh, CHI St. Luke's Hospital. And my special guest is uh, Rob uh, Hefner. Rob, welcome to All India Radio Houston. We are delighted to have you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank okay. you very much for having uh, me. Rob, before we go any further with St. Luke's and uh, the future of medicine, uh, just give a little bit of background about yourself. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been a hospital administrator for over 20 years. I see. Yeah. I'm from Louisiana. Yeah. I've lived in Texas or in the Houston area. Yeah. Uh, for the last six years, I spent 15 years, a uh, little over 15 years in New Orleans at Tulane Medical Center. Uh -huh. So I've been in an academic medical center. Is that right? Uh -huh. And uh, so I've worked there for a, a long time. I moved from there to McAllen, Texas. Well, before you move, uh, since you said uh, Louisiana, <laughs> You didn't get caught in the Katrina hurricane I mean, disaster, did you? Actually, I did get you caught did? in the... I was in I New Orleans. I want to hear the story. I was <laughs> in New bit. Orleans uh, uh, for Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. Uh, I lived in New Orleans. My wife, interestingly enough, was eight and a half months pregnant oh, gosh. at the time. <laughs> So when yeah. uh, the Katrina hit the Gulf, I sent her to Shreveport, where my sister lived. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, the hurricane came in and hit, and uh, we were evacuating patients for about five days after the storm. Yeah. Uh, I got evacuated out on a helicopter from the roof uh, six days after the storm. Where did you land? <laughs> I landed in Lafayette. Uh, to a, yeah. a, a shelter there and huh. then drove to uh, Shreveport. Had no idea if I had a new son yet or not. Uh, <laughs> he was actually born uh, yeah. on September 11th, so about a week and a half later. So uh, what did you name him? <laughs> I named him Ethan. Now, yeah. I, we knew it was going to be a boy, and if yeah. it was a girl, I didn't know if Katrina would be a name or not. I know. So. <laughs> well, that's a fascinating story because I was here in Houston, and we had the whole Astrodome filled with all these refugees and uh, uh, all the people who needed medical care. And in fact, I was involved in writing prescriptions for some of these people who left everything and came with practically nothing. <laughs> you know, the, the thing about going through something like that, as a hospital administrator, you yeah. never appreciate uh, <laughs> kind of the inner workings of the building. That's right, yeah. You know, when we have to make decisions <laughs> about <laughs> spending capital on a new CT or a yeah. surgical robot, and you have your uh, plant and facilities managers telling you you need a new generator or a new cooler, yeah. you don't really appreciate it until you go through something like that because I had to be part of rebuilding the hospital after the flooding of Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, that's so. amazing because I did a master in healthcare administration and one of our subjects was uh, architecture. Yes. Uh, and they, they talked about building a hospital, you know, getting to know the, the plumbing system, the, the electrical system, the oxygen lines and building structure and all these things. This is fascinating. And you know, as an administrator, you think you're just uh, going to meetings and doing things like that. The first okay. place I go every time I yeah. go to a new hospital, as I said, I want to see the plant. I want to see, see the yeah. generator. I want to <laughs> see the coolers. 
I want to make sure the building is uh, is, is up to speed to be Absolutely. able to do Absolutely, you need do. to know the, where the generators are because you need to make sure the respirators work. And that's right. The electricity goes on. That's right. Okay, it's let's critical. get back to CHI St. Luke's. Give us a little background about CHI St. Luke's. Okay, so uh, CHI, which yeah. is Catholic Health Initiatives, yes. they're headquartered in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Uh, in 2013, purchased the St. Luke's system. I see, yeah. So the, uh, the Episcopal Diocese of, uh, yeah. of Houston sold the system and really uh, put their resources into their foundation and, and um, hmm. dealing with health care from the primary care perspective. I see, so yeah. CHI has about 90 eight hospitals I see, now, yeah. I believe, across the United States, yeah. uh, and they bought the St. Luke's system. Yeah. Now, the Sugarland Hospital was uh, built in 2008, yes. so <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, uh, a little over six years old That's what, yeah. uh, now, so it's been a part of the community since then. I came in 2012, yeah. so I've been here for a little over two years I see, yeah. uh, in Sugarland. That's fascinating. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to All India Radio Houston on 1050 KCHN. I am Dr. Nick Nickam, your host, uh, and my special guest is uh, Rob Hefner. He's the uh, Chief Executive Officer of uh, CHI St. Luke's here in Sugarland, Texas. Uh, okay, let's talk about uh, uh, some of the services that are uh, offered at uh, St. Luke's uh, CHI in Sugarland. Well, we're we're a full service acute care hospital. Yeah. How many of beds? Course, and things we have like 100 that? beds. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, prior to my arrival, uh, there was labor and delivery that was offered there. It's not now. We are actually going to reopen that. I see. Yeah. Um, so full service acute care hospital. You know, it's interesting. You, you we have a lot of hospitals in Sugarland, which is very good actually. Yes. Uh, still, about 35 percent of the patients who live here seek health care elsewhere. The majority of that That's, is yeah. to the Texas Medical Center. But there's a wealth of services in Sugarland for folks Absolutely. to be able you know, to stay I here. came to Sugarland in 1980 and I used to drive to St. Luke's downtown for 30 years. That was my main hospital. I worked with one of the best cardiovascular surgeons. Uh, Denton Cooley, Livesey, yes. David Art, Fraser, and all these people. So actually, St. Luke's was my home, <laughs> away from home, Sugarland. <laughs> well, and that's good. So now you have a piece of, uh, of St. Luke's that's out here right in the here, community. Yeah. So what are the services that you all provide? <laughs> we have, uh, obviously, all yeah. of your typical services of your <laughs> surgical services, general surgery, colorectal yeah. surgery, orthopedic surgery, spine surgery, ENT, uh, the full complement of medicine services as well. Uh, mm -hmm. From you know primary care to gastroenterology yeah. to nephrology, neurology. Uh, so you provide you. outpatient services also. Yes, actually yeah. we do provide outpatient services. We actually have yeah. a uh, very sophisticated women's imaging center uh -huh. there, yeah. and so the majority of our outpatient is going through that women's center with yeah. 3D uh, mammography that's oh, available yeah. to the community as well. What about uh, procedures like cardiac interventions? Uh, uh, do you all provide a cardiac catheterization? Yes, we have cardiac or? catheterization. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we have vascular surgery. The only thing in the cardiac arena that we do not provide yeah. is open heart, heart surgery, surgery, meaning valve surgery and, yeah. uh, and, um, and bypass surgery. But you all do, we, you do provide like cardiac interventions like cardiac catheterization, stent placement, yes. uh, things like that. Oh, that's fascinating. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to All India Radio Houston. I am Dr. Nick Nickham, uh, your host, and my special guest is uh, Rob Hefner. He is the Chief Executive Officer of uh, CHI St. Luke's here in Sugarland, Texas. If you have any questions and you would like to join in the conversation, you can call us at uh, 281 2, 281-745-4161. Uh, let's give out the location and, and the contact number for the hospital. The location is at uh, 1317 Lake Point Parkway. So yeah. that is uh, just uh, north of Highway 6 and just west of Highway 59. So yeah. uh, right there in that corner, the phone number is 281-637-637. Seven thousand. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to All India Radio in Houston. I am Dr. Nick Nickham, and we are talking to Rob Hefner. We'll be back uh, with a couple of these announcements, uh, and we also want to let you know the cricket match uh, between India and uh, South Africa is going to be at 9:30 p.m. Star Houston time. Are you interested in cricket? Uh, have you had any exposure to cricket? Actually, I've had exposure to cricket. I've never played cricket. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but I was exposed. I lived in Virginia is that uh, right? uh -huh. as a child, and I was exposed there. Yeah. Fascinating because th this is a huge game for India. 
Uh, today it's going to be um, all night long. It's going to be played. <laughs> also, we want to recognize uh, Dr. Ravi Somiyazola uh, for his uh, sponsorship. And as I said, uh, I will be talking about women and heart disease at the Jain Center uh, at 10:30 a.m. tomorrow. And uh, India B is going to be held at uh, India House on March 29th, 2015. For information, contact uh, uh, Krishna Wavi Lala at. Uh, Seven one three seven nine five five one six nine. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to All India Radio Houston. I am Dr. Nick Nickham, and my special guest is uh, uh, Rob Hefner, and we are talking about the St. Luke's Hospital. And in a few minutes, we are going to talk about future of medicine, our personal perspective on future of medicine. We'll get to that. Okay, let's talk about. Uh, you have a professional building, and uh, uh, tell us about that. <laughs> yeah. So we do. We have a professional building that's attached to the hospital. Yeah. Essentially, the same building. We have five stories there. Mm -hmm. There are private practitioners. Yeah. Um, that are located mm -hmm. in that space. Yeah. There are some physicians who are part of the St. Luke's Medical Group. Yes. That are in that space, and MD Anderson actually has uh, a couple of floors in that building as well. So they're out patient presence in Sugarland is located in our professional Give building. us a little more uh, view, uh, I mean, uh, description on the, the St. Luke's uh, hospital group and uh, who are the specialists in that and how does it function? <laughs> so the uh, it's interesting, and I'm sure we'll talk about this a little more uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> a little later about, uh, about that, but the yeah. St. Luke's <laughs> Medical Group right now is five primary care physicians. That we have, we have an interventional cardiologist. Yes. We have an electrophysiologist. Yeah. And we have an orthopedic surgeon. Hmm. And so uh, the idea is to uh, be able to recruit primary care physicians yes. to help deve yeah. uh, develop referrals to the specialists, not just the specialists in the medical yeah. group, but specialists who are in the in the community, community as community, well yes. that yeah. support the facility. <laughs> okay. Uh, if somebody wants to get more information about your uh, hospital group, as such, what? Who do they contact? <laughs> well, they can they can contact the hospital directly yeah. at two eight one six three seven seven thousand in administration. Just call and just call. Rob Hefner. Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. No, that's I right. actually do deal with this on yeah. a, on a daily basis, a weekly right? basis. Yeah. Some physicians want to be part of yeah. a group. They want to be employed, um, and so uh, I have discussions every day with physicians that are looking for opportunities like that. That is so. That is so. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to All India Radio Houston. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. If you'd like to join in the conversation, the number to call here is 281-745-4161. We are talking about the CHI St. Luke's Hospital here in Sugarland, Texas. And my special guest is uh, Rob Hefner, and this is uh, 1050 KCH in Houston, Texas. Uh, okay, let's, let's talk about what different kinds of surgeries uh, uh, you, do you all perform? <laughs> We have uh, general surgery and yes. orthopedic surgery orthopedic, yeah. are uh, probably the two largest service lines yeah. uh, that we offer. Even though we don't have labor and delivery yet, we are reopening, as yeah. I mentioned. Um, <laughs> that uh, We also have uh, GYN surgery, yeah. uh, colorectal surgery, yes. vascular surgery. Yeah. Um, so we have the full complement ENT uh, surgery as well. We do a little bit of, of, of neurosurgery, not complex neurosurgery, see, yeah. but spine surgery. I see, yeah. Uh, mostly. That's fascinating. You know, uh, the cultural diversity and ethnic diversity is most prevalent, I should say, in Sugarland than any part of the country, I should say. Right. And uh, the, the next question leads to how do you deal with this ethnic diversity in terms of customs, food, and uh, all the necessities that are totally different from one group to the other. Well, you, you make a very good point because <laughs> yeah. prior to coming to Sugarland, yeah. I was in Texas City. So yeah. that's Galveston County as opposed to Fort Bend County. I see. And to be successful, you obviously have to cater to the community that you're in. Yeah. And huh. Fort Bend is statistically the most diverse county that's, in the yeah. state of Texas. It's <laughs> in the uh, 99th percentile <laughs> of diversity in the country. Yeah. <laughs> so to be able to uh, cater to the population, we do have vegetarian menus I and see. menus that can uh, that can cater to the Indian population, yeah. the Asian population, the African population, the Hispanic population. There's there's a wealth of diversity here which uh, <laughs> which makes this a very interesting place to be. That's but, but to be successful you've got to be able so to do you have out. dietitians who are familiar with all this ethnic diet? Yes, and we do all these we do have dietitians that so it's so as I said, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's very different from where I was That's forty right. miles away <laughs> coming Absolutely. here. You've got yeah. to be able to, to handle that. Okay,